how do you grow your prophetic gift? How do you know that you're even called into the prophetic? Are there signs that show that one has a prophetic gift? Let me show you something through the word of God. But before I show you, what I want you to do is I want you to just like this video. Every time that you like any one of our videos, you allow us to have a greater reach. There is a man in the Bible, his name is Samuel. Strangely, Samuel, under the priest Eli. And what is strange is Samuel is not conscious of the prophetic gift that he carries. He's only awakened to the gift when God calls him. But what is strange, him being a prophet, he is not conscious that it is God who's calling him. He goes to the priest and asks him, have you called me? The first time the priest is unconscious that it is God who's trying to talk to the young man. Many of you are in that place where God has been talking to you. But the strange thing is you've been asking people who are not like Eli, who have experienced God's voice before. The advantage that Samuel had was that Eli had once had God. The key to understanding God's voice or to be unlocked in your specific gift or area of calling is through those that have walked with God before. So the advantage that Samuel had was that Eli had walked with God. Now, it did not matter the position that Eli was at that moment. What mattered is the position that he was before where he was able to discern God's voice. So the second time, the priest realized, no, God is calling this young man. And he instructed him. I remember growing up at an incident where I saw a vision. And when I saw this vision, I went to my parents. Because as a child, you always seek understanding from those that are guardians. I went to my parents. I explained to them the vision. They only looked at me and said, ah, it must be his imagination. So though I went to them and I assumed because they are adults, they would help me. They did not know, nor had they experienced what I had experienced before. So sometimes the key to understanding your gift and the key to growing in your prophetic gift is following men who have experienced God. Now let me go on. So when the young man came to Eli, Eli says, go back. And he instructed him how to respond. The Bible says, do not forget to entertain strangers for some have entertained angels unawares, meaning that the supernatural is invited. An angel of God may come, but unless you welcome, unless you are inviting, sometimes you will miss the visitation. So God was waiting for the invitation to say, speak to me. So when the young man invited God and said, speak to me, Lord, as he was taught by the priest, God responded. The key sometimes is, you, 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 we can even look at the man Elisha. The man Elisha was a farmer. But yet there was a calling of God over his life. He was a prophet, but he only realized his calling when a senior prophet put his mantle over his shoulders. So sometimes God has to lead you to men who have experienced the prophetic. I love what the Bible says in John 10, when he says, my sheep hear my voice. He didn't say my lamps. He said, my sheep. Why is he emphasizing that it is the sheep that hear his voice? The sheep are the matured. So it is only the mature that hear the voice of God and that can introduce you to the voice of God. So after the prophet had been introduced to the voice of God, what is strange, the Bible begins to record that his words never fell to the ground. It speaks about how he was established as a prophet. He was established as a prophet because God allowed him to be mentored and to be trained by someone who was and who is a prophet. The key to understanding your prophetic gift is to be like Samuel. First of all, a student to someone who has experienced the prophetic. Remember, I told you that I went to my parents. We were in a traditional church. They had never experienced this before. They could not mentor me nor teach me about an area they themselves had not experienced. So after God had called Samuel and Samuel had responded, he was established as a prophet. You are established as a prophet through mentorship and teaching. But there are many people who, though they are gifted, they do not have places or people that help them to grow, to identify their gifting. One is born a prophet. One is called a prophet. One is made a prophet. 
but one is awakened to what they carry through others. Though one is born, I remember one day I was just meditating on the prophetic and I realized that there are many, though they have a strong calling of God over their lives, they are not awakened in it because they did not have anyone to teach them. So when I was speaking to prophetic dreamers and I was saying, you are a prophetic dreamer, you have dreams where you see things and they come to pass as is. It was an invitation for you to learn and to be a student. Why are you a student? So that you unlock the gifting that God has given you. I remember a certain lady came to me and said, man of God, I'm always seeing things in dreams and I don't like the dreams. I want the dreams to stop. I asked her, why do you want the dreams to stop? Because she says, I always see the death of my loved ones. I said, let's do something. It was on a live program. I said, what I want you to do is, I then began to prophetically speak to her. I asked her, do you have a sister? She said, yes. And then as I was asking her about her sister, I said, what I want you to do, focus on your sister's life, especially in the area of marriage. She did that. And she said in excitement, I saw her wedding. So though she was prophetic, the reason why she kept on seeing people's deaths and negative things is because that is where her focus was. So when you meet someone who is experienced in the prophetic, they begin to direct you and to help you to use already what God has given you. So when I was giving that teaching, it was an invitation. Even when I'm releasing this teaching, it is an invitation. What you need to do is not only like to comment, but it is to follow, to be a student, so that what God wants to activate in your life will be activated. You'll be surprised that Eli did not have a strong unction of ministry like that which was on Samuel, but yet he could teach Samuel. So there are people that God has to introduce you to, that awaken you to already what you carry, that awaken you to the ministry that you already have, so that you can be more effective and effectual in that place. My prayer is that God will lead you to mentors. God will lead you to teachers. God will lead you to individuals that can help you to nature the gift of God that you carry. So yes, one can be a born prophet. One can be a called prophet. One can be a made prophet. But you need a teacher, a mentor to help you to be awakened to the gifting that you carry. There is need for mentorship and training in the things of God. God bless you.